Okay, for today's lesson, we are going to talk about geometric nets. A net is a two-dimensional pattern containing polygonal shapes, such as these right here. The, the nets can be folded into three-dimensional objects. This one happens to be a square pyramid. This one folds into a cube, as you can see here. The term two dimensions, or 2D, means that the figure has a height for this net. The height is from this portion, or this part to this part up here vertically, and the width is from this point to this point right here horizontally. The term three dimensions, or 3D, means that the object has a height, a width, and a length right here. This would be the height from here to here the width from this point to this point, and the length from this point to this point. Any two of the dimensions lie in the same plane. So for example, the height and the width lie in the same plane. The height and the length also lie in their own plane. The width and the length lie in the third plane, which is what makes this a three-dimensional object. Plane one, right here, plane two, here, and the third plane, here. Each of the 2D nets consists of polygonal shapes that are joined at their edges. The edges, here, 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 and all of the edges around, create the boundaries of the 2D object. Again, with all of the polygons, in this case rectangles, one, two, three, four, five, six, lying in the same plane with a height and a width. When the net is folded into the 3D object, each of the polygonal shapes become the face of, faces of the 3D object. These faces create the boundary of the 3D object. So in this case, there are six faces, one, two, three, four, five, and six. The three D objects and here in this for this one is a square pyramid so also have edges which are located where two of the faces meet. So here is one face, here is a second, and this would be the edge between them. Down here you have the square face which meets with a triangular face and this would be the edge between these two faces. The bottom of an object is called the base. The base is perpendicular to the height. So for this orientation, the height from here to this point would be perpendicular to the base, which in this case is the square face. Another term that we need to know is a vertex, which for a 2D net are located at the point where two edges of a shape meet. For this net, the vertex would be where this edge and this edge meet, right here. For this portion, it would be this edge and this edge. The vertex would be at this point right here. In 3D objects, such as this rectangular prism, the vertices are formed by the intersection of edges or faces of the object. So for this one, the vertices would be where this face and this face meet, this point here, or also where all three of the faces meet. So one, two, three would be this point here. Let's see, There are also uh, several different ways that nets can be arranged to create 3D objects. These two obviously are in different, obviously create different patterns, but both of them create cubes, as you can see here. For a square pyramid, these are just two examples of how the shapes in a net can be arranged to create the pyramids. And for the rectangular pr prism, 
these two nets also create rectangular prisms. And for our last shape that we are talking about today, cylinders, these two arrangements also create cylinders. This one would be, would have a shorter height, and this one would have a taller height. 